Also helps to turn on the microphone. We are a hot mess today, let me tell you. How are you beautiful people doing? Let's see who's in here. Willie's in here. Gary Metal Detecting. John the Metal Detective. We got Outdoor Influencer. Ooh, Chris, my man. I've not seen you for a while. How you doing, man? How's the uh, surgery and stuff going? Daddy and daughter plus water. Why can't you hear me? Is it just low or can you not hear me now? We'll turn it up. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, let's try that. Is that better? I'm trying to cut out the 3D printer in the background a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> it's like super like, shh. So I'm trying to cut that out as much as possible. Okay. Anyway. Mary's in here. Dawn's in here. Daddy and daughter plus water. Thanks for telling me about the audio. We got Mona. We got Outdoor Influencer. Venture Delo. We got Chris Walker. What is happening, brother? How are you? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. So how is the surgery and all that going for you? Hopefully it's going good. Willie's in here. AZ Mort, Rock City, Underwater Canuck. We got Ann Mud. Hey, my brother was in here at one point. Maybe he's still in here. Getting tanked. Do, 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 do. Yo, what's happening, Underwater Canuck? So yeah, we uh we're gonna hang out. We're gonna talk about some stuff. I'm getting projects up off the ground, um, and as I mentioned, of course, the 3D printer is one of them. Uh, but I guess first, I got some cool stuff in the mail from VA Bigfoot, aka Old Dog. But man, I love this Old Dog sticker. Look how crazy shiny that is. Oh. And VA Bigfoot, I need to put them on the board behind me. So thank you for sending me those. Super awesome. Oh, I got stickers under my thing here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's a hot mess today. It's Monday for sure. <laughs> I was scraping uh, adhesive off the floor in the closet of the uh, laundry room before I was doing this. Like literally five minutes before I got in here. I was scraping goo off the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, FK is here. Anyway, so quit bringing that up. I don't want to know about the weather. Oh, ambassadors in the house. What's happening? All right. So we'll talk about, uh, oh, dirty mag yackers too. What's happening? I'm assuming Jake. What's happening, brother? So yeah, so we got the uh, the 3D printer, and um, I really wanted to use that to uh, make some more stuff for kind of like giveaways and stuff. So I'm still prototyping some stuff. I wanted to make like keychains. So I have this, but this is uh, pretty big for a keychain. So I'm trying to get sizing right and, you know measurements right this is a little too big maybe for a keychain it's pretty it's pretty big so i need to shrink this down just a little bit but then i could like make keychains my own keychains and stuff i'll probably try to paint these maybe myself or just leave them as is i don't know but i got stuff like that uh where is it yeah it's this side i got uh instead of the patch that i had on here somewhere in here here it is I used to have this patch, just a generic skull and crossbones kind of thing, which is a very nice, um, darn, forgot the name of this, PVC patch, rubbery, flexible, super awesome, but I was like, I just 3D print one. I mean, it's rigid, so, oh, listen to that. So, you know, it's not going to bend or anything, but... Uh, it came out pretty okay, 
and I got Velcro on the back. And it just goes on here. And then crooked. All right. Because I've always wanted to have my own patch. I love patches. And, uh, but it was going to be super expensive to get PVC patches made. I mean, it was like $300 or something for like 50 or maybe it's like $200. I don't know either. I could have made my money back selling them, obviously, but it was just like, man. So that was like when that was, this is the first thing that I printed. And I was like, you know, <laughs> the printer itself costs money, but I can make a lot more things. So, um, this was the prototype and you know, it was way, too small the print was too small to read from back here it wasn't raised enough and like uh i'm still working out some kinks in the printer so like it's wavy these edges are super sharp so i didn't want that to somehow puncture the uh the air bladder in here <laughs> if i needed to pull it and it would just like poke it or something and then you know i drown or something like that that seemed like a terrible idea, so I rounded the corners on this and uh, reprinted it. I'm actually printing another one of these, but this time, instead of having like my logo and the text raised, I've sunk that into the model. So I'm going to paint it black and then take a brush and, and fill in this area with white. And uh, I thought that way if I'm underwater and I rub against something, it won't scratch the paint off as much. It might scratch the black off, but I'd rather scratch this kind of off than to scratch the white paint of the uh, logo and stuff off. I don't know. Yeah, Don, for sure. Like, it is one hell of a learning curve. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the machines are very finicky. You have to have the nozzle where the filament comes out and the bed needs to be level, but it needs to be almost touching. And if it's too close, it won't stick. It'll be real thin and nothing will happen. And if it's too far away, it'll start dragging filament everywhere because it didn't properly squish it onto the next, the last layer. So like it needs to be perfect, as perfect as you can get. You'll never get a hundred percent perfect. But I'm going to get some updated springs for the bed to level it because the springs are on there now. They're real, they're real light duty springs, but they they flex everywhere. So you might have a spring going this way on one corner and the spring going this way. So uh, they got some more springs. It's like seven dollars, and I get twenty of them, and they're very tight coiled. They keep their shape and they'll press uniformly in one direction up. And uh, that should help a lot of stuff. <clears throat> that is a good question. I know, like, if I hold stuff up here, it's probably going to try to focus on that. I don't know. It's the GoPro, so I don't really know that it, it doesn't really have, like, an autofocus. Yeah, it's, uh, I just threw away a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so considering actually that I hardly know what the hell I'm doing. Um, <laughs> this is like right after I printed this, I printed baby Yoda, but where's his hand? You can see his hand right there. It got messed up. Uh, and there is some other stuff on here. Some little s stuff sticking up and whatnot. But, like, I didn't print. There should have been supports, like, coming up to touch his hand and this hand and his ears. And I did not print those. So, I need to try to print another one and see if he comes out better. But, like, he looks pretty good, considering I didn't have any of the other settings worked out, really. Like, he turned out pretty good. And then I tried, see, this one is a little more jacked up. You can probably tell. So there's all kinds of stuff hanging off of uh, my Stormtrooper helmet here. And, yeah, there's stuff that just, it just should be a little cleaner than that. So we're working out some kinks. And then 
I just printed printed this little spaceman sitting on an asteroid like an hour ago. So I'm just playing with different different settings, different models, seeing how they uh, stack up against each other, playing with like nozzle temperature, the temperature of the bed. Uh, it's crazy. And like I just threw away a whole bunch of just like failed prints. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm super, super far behind in that, bro. But I love Cad Bane. Cad Bane is one of my, uh, one of my favorite villains. Uh, favorite bad guys from Star Wars. Cad Bane is awesome. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he has seen better days. But, like, I just thought that was pretty cool. He had his half of his helmet blown off and you can see the skull and see there's a he took a hit here too see look at the bottom maybe see how rough the bottom is and like eh, that should be better so i'm working out the kinks but like i said i'm printing another version of this but just kind of engraved into the plastic instead of raised <clears throat> but yeah, besides that, I've been working on taking the HDPE plastic and making some coins. So we're going to do some races here in a little bit, and uh, I'm going to give away three of the prototype coins that I got in my hand right now to build up the suspense. Um, they are a bit thicker than I like, and like... Um, you know, one at ed one edge is completely flat, but then like the other edge is kind of like at an angle, so they're not completely uniform yet, and they're a bit thicker. I want to try to get them to like a quarter of an inch thick. Um, but like so far, the plastic has been melting really well. Now that I built a better mold and I got actual clamps to really tighten down. I need to make another mold because uh, I was thinking I could just get almost a square that's all just a little bit bigger than the whole saw and just go zhoo, zhoo, zhoo. and I was trying to do some stuff like that but if you get any air in this plastic at all and the saw hits it it just kind of explodes um, so that ended in some scary results when I was cutting it um, can't recommend that too well so but i mean that is a you know that's a miter saw with a miter saw blade and maybe if i got uh, oh i dropped it i don't know maybe if i got uh, a dremel or something that might i don't know <laughs> work better but we'll be giving away that i'm going to give away uh this beta test keychain thing too so we're going to give that away, and I got three coins to give away. But before we go over these, I want to know what your guys' thoughts should be. What should we call these? Should we call them channel coins? Should we call them pirate coins, snorkel coins, any other name that you think might be good? Because like I said, I want to take this. I love the fact that it's recycling plastic um, that I can get out of the water or just around the house. I'm not going to lie. A lot of it's probably going to be some stuff from around the house just because it needs so much plastic, but it is recycling. And then I wanted to take that money and, uh, you know, donate it to conservation. Or if we have another situation with like the Kinsler brothers where they have a personal tragedy and we all know who they are and we know that it actually is a real thing. Uh, and it's not a scam from some random person, you know, we can donate that money to them. Or if there's another event, like they had up in Michigan where they bought the kids magnet kits. We can take that money and buy like magnet kits to have a big magnet fishing cleanup event. That's kind of what I want them all to go to. Like I don't, ooh, doubloons actually. Doubloons is actually pretty lit. I didn't even think, yay. I'm telling y'all, daddy and daughter plus water meant Jason is a smart dude. Like going over like the stuff that he thinks about while trying to solve the puzzle from 
the secret. Dude, he comes up with these crazy theories, but they all sound really good. <laughs> it's it's fine. We'll figure out the spelling later, but <laughs> uh, booty coins. Come and get your booty coins here. Snorkel's booty coins. Snorkel doubloons. I kind of like that. Um, I'm kind of feeling that. What's up, squirrel? Yeah, I did think about pirate coins, but man, snorkel doubloons. I kind of like that. Well, hey, Judy, how you doing? We're talking about uh, naming my recycled coins. Ah, yes, thank you, daddy and daughter. I need to press my button for that. I have a button. Here we go. Smash that like button. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling snorkel doubloons. What do y'all think? I think doubloons should be in there, but should we be pirate doubloons? We're snorkel doubloons. I'm feeling the snorkel doubloons. What's up, Swamp Rat? But yeah, it's crazy that like <laughs> you can just take all this stuff. Like I've taken a bunch of these, the jugs of that hold the oil at work. The whole container is HDPE, completely 100% recyclable, which is awesome. So I get... Um, at least two of those a day almost that I can bring home, clean out, and melt down. Um, shampoo bottles. So I've already purged the house of like shampoo bottles and laundry detergent bottles. And like every day, usually my my cook brings me a Coke or something. He has a Coke. So I started taking on bottle caps that he brings every day. Yeah, Don, I'm, I'm feeling that. See, I knew you guys were going to come up with something great. I just had a feeling. <laughs> Hashtag get snorkeled. <laughs> um, yeah, so I still have a bunch of plastic. I just go down. I cut it up. I'm thinking about trying to get um, like a panini press to help melt the plastic faster. I have a toaster oven right now. But I think the panini press would do a better job of getting some air out. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, this stuff is, if once you get the thickness that you want and you get it, hey, look, he did it on purpose. Delo did it on purpose. <laughs> uh, he unsubscribed and resubscribed on purpose. Um <laughs> Yeah, once you get it, like, once you get this stuff compressed and melted enough and compressed together, dude, it's super strong stuff. Um, it's awesome, but fairly lightweight. It's a, an interesting material. It's really awesome to make stuff out of it. Um, so I'm thinking, trying to do some other stuff that I can make out of it, too. But, yeah, with that said, let's take a look. This was, oh, man. This was before I had a proper mold, which I still don't really have a proper mold, but this mold really sucked and I didn't have good clamp. I just had like hand squeeze clamps and I couldn't squeeze them hard enough to get the plastic to really hold together. So now I have some screw uh, clamps and I can really torque those bad boys down. But this was this was version one and it is super ugly. So <laughs> whoever wins this one, I, I kind of feel sorry for you, but like, check, check this out. So you can barely see the logo in there. I'm talking, this thing is wavy. It's separating in the layers and on the back, it's hard to read the seas adventure. And I kind of burnt the plastic on top and it's super thick. Look at that. It's chunky, chunky, thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> so that was like test one and I was not feeling it. I didn't like that. You couldn't see the logo or anything. Um, 
So I was like, crap, we kind of got to go to the drawing board. So I got uh, the new mold made. And then I figured that I would just fill the logo and stuff with paint and then it would be visible. And then I could sand down the top and bottoms and remove as much paint as I can, which I'm 50, 50 on this. Like there's imperfections where the paint has seeped into, but I kind of think that looks cool. But at the same time, I kind of wish that only the, the words and the logo were painted, but let me let me know what you guys think. This is this is like version 2.0. Check this out. So I filled it with silver. Oh, it's hard to read with the light. It is. Yeah, there we go. Seas Adventure. But I love how you get the different colors in there. And the edges are more smooth on this. There's hardly any separation. Just the top and bottom where I sanded them are smooth. Where's this other one? Um, look, we got some green and blue in there. There's purples. There's a lot of green and blue in this one. But I love that every coin is going to be individual. No two coins will ever be the same. Because I just take that stuff and twist it while it's hot. And then smush it together and twist it. Smush it together. And get a bunch of random colors. And random patterns. And... Uh, See, like this one. This is, so this one, you know, it's still pretty thick, but it is a little thinner. But if I could get these to a quarter inch thick, that would be awesome. So I need to make another mold. I need to make a better mold. One that holds less plastic, I think. And then uh, go from there. But I am having problems with the mold keeping together right now, actually. So I just need to like over engineer the crap out of the mold because uh, it's just ridiculous. The, the walls are trying to break apart and stuff like that's I'm putting so much pressure into it. It's breaking the mold. So I need to just really overkill the thing. So the mold stays together. Yeah, for some stuff, uh, like I want one of those too because they're a lot of fun. You can do some fun stuff with that. I dropped a coin. I'm sorry, I dropped a doubloon. I don't know where it went. Oh, I found it. We found it. We're dropping coins here. I'm dropping coins, and my stupid chair is broke. Like, it's a one wheel. The socket that holds the wheel in place snapped. So now I put weight on the wheel and it just wants to like come undone, which is not ideal at all. Yeah, I could definitely do some wood ones. Um, that would be super easier, but I just really like the idea of this plastic because there's a lot of it, a lot of bottle lids and all kind of junk everywhere. And I like the fact that we can recycle. It's like double recycle. It's like I'm collecting this and recycling it. You guys get something cool. And then the, the money that I get from these goes to like conservation or something else to help recycle even more. So it's like a, it's a multiplying factor and I really like that. But I might also do some like some like wood stuff and then like, even those. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so like that's totally what I was thinking was to do that and cut it, but I need to make sure that I'm getting all the air out and stuff and I'm going to have to find another another means of cutting it because the miter saw when I I tried to do that a little bit um, it kind of exploded <laughs> there was shrapnel thrown everywhere it, it caught a hollow bit in the middle and just <laughs> exploded so I would need to make a rig for the Dremel or something and like spin the dowel and slowly lower the Dremel or something 
or put the DAO in the drill press and then have a blade or something that I could push against it at the measured mark. I don't know. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta workshop it some more, but I'm excited to like get underway and actually start doing stuff. Cause I've been talking about it for like six months at least. Yeah, I need something thinner. I said I might have to get some more equipment and stuff and look into it. But yeah, I definitely thought about making some dowels. Or making like a kind of still a dowel, I guess, but like in a rectangle shape and then putting it on the on the hole saw and just psh. But if I could find something to already get that circular shape, um that would be even better. Uh, you probably could. I don't know why is the volume off. Check, test, check, test, check, test. The microphone's on. Anybody else having problems? Okay, Christy can hear. I don't know what's happening. Everything looks good on my end. But, um, yeah. Um, what's the best way uh, to get a hold of you, Swamp Rat? Because I will definitely talk to you about that. Yeah, I think it'd be. I think it's it's gonna have to be pretty hot to cut it, and then it's you'd have to do some sanding or something because I'm thinking the wire is actually a little too thin, and if, unless you got perfect setup to run it through, it's gonna like wiggle a little bit, which you could sand down, and that would be fine, I guess. But <laughs> I'm telling you, this is some stout stuff. It's, uh, Grandpa's knife ain't gonna cut through this too well. All right, brother, man. Yeah, I will hit you up. And, uh, I'm open to all ideas, man. But, I mean, I, I love it. I love... I love how the blank mold comes out and all the crazy colors look together. <laughs> whoa now, whoa. I'm sorry. That is some squatching after dark talk right there, Brockton. Put my water lid over here. Start collecting lids. I got a bunch of plastic in the car to go over to. All right. Oh, where'd it go? All right, Metal Angler. Have a great night, brother. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> Let me see. Is this thing still printing back here? Sure is. Maybe if it gets done, how much time does it say it's left? Yeah, a little bit. It's almost 75% done. So if that gets done while we're still on here, I'll pull it off and y'all can look at it. But yeah, we got the 3D printer. We got this. I actually, uh, this isn't the right foam. I got the correct foam for my Christmas ornaments. This isn't it because it has the diamond plate on top. And then, then it causes which is a pain in the butt to sand down. So I got some flat EVA foam on both sides in the basement. I got one right now prepped up. I already have it painted silver. I just need to get the stainless steel eye bolt to put through. And I got custom snorkel magnet stickers. Let me see if I can find that picture if I still have it in here. Uh, uh, uh. 
because I didn't figure I might try to get a couple more for brute yeah, just so I can make myself my, a personal brute one to hang on the Christmas tree. But I didn't figure they would like to keep giving me stickers. I mean, I could pay for them, uh, but I kind of figured I would just make my own and that would probably be easier. Let's see. Probably master files, files. Where did I put, th there it is. Okay. Okay. Scale this down. do that okay check it out here we go so you know we got the snorkel pirate we got the the pinching logos and the magnet and you know this ornament is meant for fun it is not magnetic and not ideal for removing treasure from the water it is ideal for spreading holiday cheer and making your magnet fishing friends jealous make your own adventure life is short have fun peace and caution pitching hazards so these arrive they're at work actually they did come today uh so I got those, I got 10 or 20 of them. And uh, yeah, so I can put that down. I already got the other foam downstairs painted and a hole in it. And uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> what knockoff? <laughs> no, then we end up like the Kinsler brothers and the treasure vixens. No, it's not Meg. Oh. Yeah, I like it. I need to I need to go I need to get some more feathers, some longer feathers to put in here. I had a red feather in here, but they're not quite long enough cuz you got to get it three or four and tape them together and then they they sit get seated down in there i need some feathers but it's pretty all right for now i like it i need to remember to take it with me to go magnet fishing it's just usually so dang hot that like this would be murder to wear out there magnet fishing cool all right brother yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i'll hit you up later for sure take all the help on this i can get Oh, I like, man, StreamYard is so good about, I see something that I want to put up and then I click it and it moves up and I click somebody else's comment. So, <laughs> uh, no, not yet. Anyway, I do want to get a flag though and put on the kayak when I'm on the river. I think that'd be pretty funny. Maybe I can, uh, oh man, I could probably actually do that now. Figure out something in the back and maybe 3D print a piece to hold a flag and then just put it on the back of the kayak. Oh, I mean, you know, just as many as possible. We'll do it here in a minute. I mean, the, the, the giveaways are happening no matter what. We're giving away the coins. We're giving away some this. I mean, I might even give away this this janky <laughs> first print that I did. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Um, <laughs> now I just want to listen to Mambo number five. Uh Five things to give away, so. I am not blind yet. I do not need that. <laughs> the red feather. Ah, oh, they're somewhere. Yeah, they're over here. Ha <laughs> ha! But they're like, kind of short. Because they, I want them to like. You gotta like tape them so they like get in here and like stay better. See, this one's just falling down, and that's just stupid. I want it to be more 
standing up or something. There we go. All right, that may be a little bit extreme, but whatever. All right. Ooh, Brockton's throwing in. Look, Brockton's throwing in a poker chip. <sighs> Wish the poker chips look rad, man. Um, I know Squatch just got some too. They look pretty sweet. I might get some at some point, but I'm just pretty hard up with the. Uh, which these almost sound like poker chips. Cheap poker chips, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe I can find one to 3D print and put it on my shoulder. No. No. That's a lie. Everybody thinks that the pirate's favorite letter is R. But it's actually the C. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to 3D print everything. Um, This one does. This one, I mean, like, come on, man. You got to be fancy. And obviously when my parrot dies, I need something to remember him by. So, yeah. Nice. That's dope. Yeah, I kind of, um, at some point too, I want to get um, a uh, spare tire cover thing for the back of the Jeep and get my logo and stuff on there. You know, just to be extra. Yes. Probably normally, but when it uh, catches a stray cannonball flying past my shoulder, well, not so much. <laughs> uh, morbid. Oh, Tidewater said he will throw in some stickers too. Oh, we're doing some giveaways tonight, guys. I'm about to pull it up here in a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would work really good for that if it was, like, a solid plastic type. Oh, see, it happened again. That's crazy. <laughs> the chicken on the shoulder. Yep. Got to live it up while you can. Drink the rum. Loot and plunder. Wow. Wow. Whew. Have you all seen that thing? I got to pull up a... Okay. 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 So have y'all seen this crazy theory? Speaking of the little mermaid, right? <clears throat> so Ariel has red hair. So she's the red sea. And, uh, one of them supposed to be the Bering sea. We have the black sea, Mediterranean sea, coral sea, white sea, Caribbean sea, blah, 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 blah. And then somebody was like, Oh, I guess Ariel's mother was the Dead Sea. Because she's dead. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, that's dark. Probably true, though. Disney messed up like that, I'm telling you.
Let me pull up this race situation. Classroom timers. It's so hot in this room right now. I'm dying. All right, classroom timers. I need to log in. I'm not a robot. Remember me. Quit logging me out. So what should uh, what race should we do today, guys? Birds. Do they have a parrot? They just have regular birds. It'd be cool if they had a parrot. Or we could do the... No, we just have the bird race. Dude, they should have pirate ships. That would make sense. Um, no, look, they had the that toy. They had like the castle, uh, the Little Mermaid Castle, where all the, the the mermaids and mermen and stuff were. And you bought it and you took it home. And right in the middle, the one pillar just looked like something else, looked like something it shouldn't have been, a little phallic, if you will. <laughs> Like I'm at the, <laughs> I wonder if I can find that. But yeah, that did used to be on. They took that off the, the cover. But there was like a castle thing. Man, I can't find that thing anywhere. But it was like the same thing because that's where the, it was. Yeah, look at that. Tell me that is not. That's totally a thing. Um, Anyway. Plane race. Do the bird. I'm going to do the bird because I don't know that I've ever seen... Um, the bird race. And I just heard my phone. But I don't know where my phone went. Hmm. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I found it. Oh, Lord. Yup. I got a free stock on Robin Hood. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. Anyway, free stock. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I believe that. There is a... Uh, well, they just changed that thing. There was a door in the new Star Wars section. Uh... That looked very phallic. <laughs> and they removed it now. I don't know if it was a door. It was some kind of shape coming off of the building. And they removed it now and covered it with a plant and stuff. Because everybody kept taking pictures next to it and just being like... <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. I knew it was going to happen. Too many people were taking pictures and, like, it was getting too big. Anyway. Birds. Birds. I'm getting off track. Birds. Where's the Birds. Everybody knows that the bird is the word. B -b -b bird, 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 bird is the word. <laughs> All right, let's go to names. Edit the list. All right, guys. So, put uh, put coins in the chat, 
and we will type these names in and we will start giving away some stuff guys we got oh my god i'm dropping all the things <laughs> we'll give away the stuff but also it's gonna be random like you don't know i'm just gonna like when i get the names i'm probably gonna write them down draw them out and i'm just gonna grab something so you don't know you don't know if you're getting a coin you don't know if you're getting a semi-failed 3d print completely random don't fight kids don't fight excuse me thank you sir although i kind of think you just want to see the animation happen again <laughs> Hey, I'm back up to 802, though. Yeah, man, the YouTube purge was crazy the other day. Um, did you, was that like 808 or something, 809? And it went back down to 801. I was like, that's insane. What is happening? I think I'm trying to fix my chair. There we go. Still printing. Oh, it's almost done, though. So we can see what that looks like. I'm scared. I haven't looked at it. All right, let's. Oh, well, the good news is I have it over here. Typing craziness here. Oh, goodness. I wish there was a way to like copy people's names. Goodness. Okay. Oh, the dog's angry. The dog's angry. Squirrel in here. Okay. So let me go through this list, guys, because good lord. Y'all some fast typers. <laughs> uh all right. <clears throat> in the list. We got Christy, we got Ann Mud, we got Venture, we have Brockton, Daddy Darbus Water, we got Henry F, AZ Mort, Chris Walker, we have FK, Judy Smith, SWFL, Rock City, Tidewater, Underwater Canuck, Swamp Rat, Don the Metal Detective, and we got Squirrel. Okay. Okay, I got you added now. So, anybody else that's not in the list? Thanks. Nice. It looks good. Huh? I said it looks good. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to. Oh, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that steam. I don't know where I'm going to sit this. I need a bigger desk. Um, cookies. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Rock City's in there. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess that's what the dog's barking about. She probably wants it. Um, all right, so I guess that's everybody. So we'll go through, and then... <laughs> uh, yeah. Who, uh, who was that? R. Kelly in the closet? No, no, never mind. I don't want to be related to R. Kelly. It's too much... Too much stuff. Hey, speaking of R. Kelly, uh, do you you guys know why it's so hard to get out of the R. Kelly cult? Because once you're in, you're in. Think about it. (laughs) Think about it. All right, well, you got to come get it. I'm not mailing it. (laughs) Ah, Swamp Rat gets it. Anyway, all right, so I got it. I'm going to copy these names just to make sure I don't screw this up somehow. So we'll do five races. And at the end of each race, I'll just have it remove the winner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, (laughs) I'll remove the winner, and then we'll go to the next one. And then I will keep track of all those names. And I might have to wait till Thursday to get paid so I can buy some, like, bubble mailers. Because this is not going to fit in an envelope. Even, Even if it did... I don't think one stamp will cover it, so it's probably just cheaper to get some bubble mailers and throw those in. But I really, really would like to. It drives me crazy most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you in there. I got you in there. All right, how do we share my screen? Share screen. We want that one. Allow. Oh, let's do full screen here. Let's hit set. Super full screen. Turn this off because, good lord. Okie dokie. Look at these houses. Look at all these birds. Who's the green one? I got money on the green one. Let's go. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, Canuck. Canuck's name got cut off. Why is it cutting off people's names? It's weird. <laughs> yeah, whoever poops on the most houses wins. Ambassador is trying to sneak up. Mmm. Tidewater's making a break for it now. He's going to save some money on postage by sending himself a sticker. <laughs> Grab the shotgun. Oh, here we go. We're coming up on that last, like, 15 seconds. That's where the whole kit and caboodle happens. Oh, let's see. Oh! Who's going to take him? I swear somebody's going to take him. Maybe not. Oh! 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 Oh my goodness! Wow! Yo! Look at that. Oh, look, you can pop him back in and out. Look at that. Hey, yo, Brockton moving up in the world. He got third place this time. (laughs) All right. So, let me figure out how to remove you from the list, and we'll go again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. Well, I know who he is, so. 
<laughs> I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember how. Okay. Set. All right. Let's go again. Ooh, I like this purple one. Purple and black. Henry's making a break for it. Squirrel looks like he's hungry. Oh, Tidewaters. He's he's flapping hard. Let's go. Ooh. Judy out in front. Venture right behind. I got an extra feather in my hat. Someone needs it to fly faster. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, why well, press that way early? I thought it was 18 seconds. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I pressed that way too early. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, Tidewater's coming! Oh my god! Oh my god! Tidewater! Wow. Tidewater sucks. <laughs> Brockton, don't send him a sticker. <laughs> he, he doesn't get a sticker. <laughs> okay, this is what I click, right? All right. So that's two. We got three more to go. It's like cutting people's names off. It's weird. The flying rat. Nah, don't give him a poker chip. Don't. <laughs> Don't you do it. He's hacking. He's hacking. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, and Mud's trying to come. Oh! SWFL! Ooh, Bastard came ninth that time. We're not going to talk about that. All right, we got two more to go, guys. Let's shuffle these. Like we're in poker. Let's go. I just feel like we need some... Uh, we need something. We need some, like... That's too calm. We need this. We need this. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, Mort is out in front. Ooh, and Mud's trying to get some. She said, move out the way, boy. Oh. Rock City said, get out of here. Oh, here we go. Oh, Swamp Rat. Swamp Rat. <clears throat> Look, how many was that now? Three? That's three, right? Do it again. Oh, I should have hit shuffle. My bad. Dubstep ping, pe pigeon. I can't talk. I try to call you a penguin. It's a completely different bird. <laughs> Chris says birds stop flying when I started playing music. Oh, oh, Chris is, oh, Chris is making a comeback. Rock City on his heels. Oh, it's Rock City. Oh, oh, Christy's trying to, trying to make a break for it. Daddy Daughter Plus Water's trying to make a break for it. Fly, flap those wings. Oh, Chris Walker's trying to make a comeback. Fly faster. Underwater Canucks trying to make a comeback too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? It's a close race. It's beak and beak. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, AZ Mort pulled it off. All right, so was that the fifth one or was that the fourth one? Yeah, AZ, Tidewater, SWFL, Swamp Rat. Was that four? Is there another one we got to do? I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Let's come back. Let's turn that off. Get this out of here. All right. Well, congrats, everybody. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm just going to put these names in, randomize them. So you might get a keychain 3D print prototype or the name badge patch prototype, or you might get a sweet recycled. Pirate to Bloon. Hard to say. But while that was happening, guys, this other thing finished back here. So let me see if I can pop this off and see what it looks like. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Oh, well. <clears throat> It was looking pretty good. It's pretty stringy. Hold on. Oh, I hate this chair. Okay. I mean, overall, it looks pretty good. It has some... It's, I don't know if you can tell. See, there's some stringy stuff going on in there. So, I don't know. I might be able to get an X-Acto blade and clean that up. Let's see if I can remove this brim. There we go. Ooh, these are nice round edges on this one. All right, so check it. So this one is like engraved. I don't, I don't know if that's, I can't remember if embossed means it's inside or not, but 
I'm going to try to clean that up later, and then I might use this one. Because if I figure if I color it in here with white, that has less of a chance to get scraped off when I'm underwater doing weird stuff. So then we might end up giving this one away at some point. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm about to go in here with some uh, an exacto blade and just try to clean this up. But this feels really good. Very smooth on the bottom. Pretty durable. I like it. Might have to make these. This is almost like a cool, like a rectangle coin or something. I don't know. Might have to make some stuff like this. What? The Vixens? When did you sneak in here? You you missed all the races. You missed all the uh what we've now named the pirate doubloons of the recycled plastic coins. And it's really hard to tell because it's light. Oh man. But the one side has a uh, Seas Adventure and the other side has the logo and it's all recycled plastic that I will be uh, hopefully getting a final, final version pretty soon and sell that and then use that money towards conservation or like up uh, up north in Michigan when they were buying magnet kits for the kids to do the big cleanup. You can donate that money to that. Or if any of us have a, situa a situation like the Kinsler brothers did with their mom and stuff, um, we could use that money for that. So, but I really want to try to go towards more towards like the conservation and stuff. So it's like a two times multiplier for the recycling and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you haven't checked out the Treasure Vixens, man, go check out the Treasure Vixens. They are dope. Love the Vixens. Uh... One of the first, like, YouTube buddies I ever had was the Vixens. <laughs> oh, man, it was super awesome. They are killing it, too, man. They got a lot of those great bridges. Like, I need to find a bridge with graffiti on it. That's what I've learned from the Treasure Vixens. If I find a bridge with graffiti, you'll find good things. And they're hilarious. They're 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 really funny, um, and they got a live at the end of every month. I think the last Sunday of every month, and they do they open their mail. Uh, they try to uh, <laughs> get their fingers stuck between two magnets sometimes. Oh, where'd it go? I mean, it's not necessary. But if you want to send me like bottle caps or something, you totally can. I'll definitely use them. You're welcome. Oh, we got Rose. Oh, so you're both in here then? We got Rose and Angela? This is a rare occasion, guys. <laughs> Usually we can get Rose. But getting Angela in here too is, that is a feat. That's correct. If you don't like the Vixens, like, I don't know. They're super fun. They're funny. One of these days, I'm going to get out towards my mom's way in Missouri, and I'm going to link up with them, and we're going to have a sweet time. I'll bring the pirate hat. And the vest. I don't really need a, a life preserver while magnet fishing, but I might start wearing it just because. Indeed, Swamp Rat. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. Be awesome to see Mom. Be awesome to see you guys. Get some good magnet fishing going. <laughs> Brockton needs a life fest. Yeah. He might actually now because he has a boat. He has a situation. He's got a watercraft. So he probably does need a life vest, actually. <laughs> Rose. 
<laughs> right? I'm about to set money aside for next year and just leave it in the account and don't touch it. So that when it's announced, I'll actually, it literally, but I didn't even think about trying to figure somebody else out to go like with them because you can have like two people at the one camp designated area. I didn't even think about like finding a single person and trying to like team up with them and pay half the money. Like I was stupid. Didn't even think about that. So what have the ladies been into? Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Cause of what they went out on like a Monday and I got paid that Thursday and they were done before Thursday. Oh, you trying to go to flash bash too? tied. That would be dope. We can do it, man. We can share a, uh, we can share a site. Like I might buy a tent, but depending on where we're at, if there's some trees, I'm going to bring just a hammock too. just sleep in the hammock. Or maybe I can get a hammock stand and I'll just sleep in the hammock. But yeah. Um, see, I'll show them too. Because I need to, I'll have to send the Vixens one too. So check it out, ladies. I'm also working on, like I got, I have this phone, which I've made. I have it here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Uh, the Christmas ornament, the magnificent Christmas ornament. But I always had this phone that has the diamond plate texture. And that is not ideal. So I bought some EVA foam that is completely flat on both sides. And I have one painted downstairs already. I already have the hole drilled. I just need to get the eye bolt put in. But tomorrow, when I go to work, I can pick these up. I got some custom magnet stickers made to put on the top of them. And then I'll just tie some string to it and hang it on a tree. But now that I have the drill press, I can get the, the hole saw and just make a perfect circle instead of trying to use an X-Acto blade to cut a perfect circle, which is darn near impossible. Um, yeah, so, well, we got this cause I figured, um, brute, uh, he's going to get tired of me asking for some stickers to put on these magnets. So I went ahead, got those and hopefully I got the size, right? I don't actually know. I got the, I got the two inch by two inch. So Let's see, cause yeah. Because this is just a little bit, so I'm hoping this is just a little bit smaller than that on the 2x2. Two two. That was a guess. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I basically looked at the Brute sticker and, like, copied it and reworded it. And just changed some stuff around. So, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I had a hammock stand, but it was a cheap piece of crap. So if I got a better one, I could bring that or just find some trees. But, like, I got a uh, mosquito net for it now and stuff. So, like, I would be set. Love sleeping in the hammock. <clears throat> but I would probably get a tent just in case, too. Um, When? When are you coming back, Don? Oh, I have a, uh, I have a rain fly. So like, I just have to run a line for that and drape that over top and put the stakes in and I'm good to go. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. I'm trying to see what's happening. Because I know... Uh, yeah, I got some stuff coming up and I'm trying to work out and stuff. I'm tr trying to do something with Tidewater, but I don't know how that's going to go. All right, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to guess that that one's Angela. Hope you have a good evening. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Yo, we might have to make a version two. That might have to be put in there. I like it. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Screenshot. I'm going to take a picture. There we go. Photo taken. Yeah, I uh, I mean, I just like sleeping in the hammock. I think it's really comfortable once you learn how to sleep in the hammock. But um, it's it's super minimal. You just fold the hammock up, fold the rain fly up, shove it in a bag, super lightweight, and you're gone. Set up and take down. Once you get your knots and you learn your knots, super easy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, we got dad in here. Uh, I don't know if dad's going to hop in here or not, but he's going to be doing a little giveaway pretty soon. So he might come in here and talk maybe. We'll just copy this and send it to his messenger anyway. And if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Facebook, why are you so slow? Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, I sent you a link, so if you want to come in here, feel free to come in here. Indeed. Rusty metal. Okay. You can... I can turn the rusty metal in for some gold, or at least today's equivalent. Oh, okay. Well, he's going to go get the thing he's giving away, and uh, he'll be right back. Whew. Mm. This is the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if I can clean up the stringiness on this I like that it's in there just get a small brush I'll spray paint this whole thing black I'll sand it a little bit first and then put white paint down inside real careful like Yeah, chicken and gravy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely not steaming anymore. Still tasty. <laughs> I really want to play. Um, and if no one's seen it, do yourself a favor. Go to YouTube and watch Michael Bolton, Captain Jack Sparrow. Hilarious, man. Anytime somebody talks about Pirates of the Caribbean, I just picture Michael Bolton singing that song. Oh, I found a deer stand. That's cool. Hey, I appreciate that, Chris. It means a lot. Press my button again. I got buttons programmed to say that kind of stuff, and then I never remember. Hey, Dad's back. Oh, 
Pirates don't sing Michael Bolt. Hey, look at you just sneaking in here. Look at you sneaking in here. <clears throat> they sing whatever song they want to sing. They're a damn pirate, okay? <laughs> Yo, Magnetic Squash in the house. Uh, I sent it to your Facebook, Dad. Hashtag Squatch Butt. Yo, you missed it, Squatch. I uh, was showing off. Like, I had this. This is the part of the 3D print. I just did this, which I need to clean up because there's some stringy stuff going on in there. I'm going to take an X-Acto blade and try to clean that up. And then I'll paint the top black. And then where it's inlaid, I'll paint white. Because I think that might do better than the raised because this is raised off of the black. Uh, yo, Squatch. Oh, you're good, bro. We got Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. I mean, he's got a messed up hand. His hand kind of fell off, so now he's got, like, uh, he's got the butler's hand from Scary Movie. It's my good hand. <laughs> um... I'm trying to tweak the settings because stuff, I mean, there's just some little imperfections that really shouldn't be there. Like the bottom of this one is super like, Ugh. but I mean, this turned out okay. Then I have this little astronaut sitting on a, like a moon. I want to print him bigger and see if it gets better. So I've just been playing with stuff. Maybe I can print Jack Sparrow. I don't know if Dad found the link yet. Send it to him again. Man, I really want to sing the, I want to listen to the, the Jack Sparrow song. Yo, SWFL's logo would look good printed. I'm trying to work on one for dad, but like... I just got to think about how to do it. Because he's got multiple, there'll be multiple levels and layers going on. <clears throat> Take my strong hand. <laughs> I made all this food by hand. It was it was excellent, wasn't it? <laughs> Check it out, guys. I wrote this big sexy hook. I think you're really gonna love it. <laughs> Michael Bolton. <clears throat> well, I don't know what happened to Dad. He got lost. Brockton sent me something. When did dad just try to call? Did he just try to call me? Oh, hi. Oh, what? See, it's a voice message too. So, you, oh wait, okay. That was in, oh wait, no. It's, oh, dad's about to be in there. Hold on. I got it. We gotta turn off the audio because Lord knows what Brockton's gonna say. All right, all right. So we're gonna bring Dad up here, digging the water himself. Welcome. 
<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> hey. Oh. What do you got here? You got YouTube. How you doing? Hey. You got YouTube. How you doing? Oh, okay. Um, let me get out of it. Oh, and we lost him. <laughs> He'll be back. Do some good potatoes. Well, that's awkward. All right, brother man, have a good evening. Feel free to stop back and see if we're still in here. Hard to say. Hard to say. Well, thank you. I mean, we didn't find a whole lot, but we had some fun. And, uh, you know, who was it? Jody. Jody really loves the Yoda. <laughs> All right, he's back. We're going to see if we fix stuff here. All right, there we go. Is that any better? better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I tried to click out of it. It canceled everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically challenged. So, yeah, so Dad's giving away some stuff here soon. I am. As... Uh, a lot of your uh, viewers know uh, that I was down in uh, Ocean Isle, North Carolina. Uh, enjoyed a week's vacation down there on the water. And uh, went to some gift shops. And uh, uh, I picked up this. Let's see if you can see it. Um, hold up that uh, sticker you had there, Aaron. Okay. I'm going to affix that sticker to the opposite side over here. So you'll have uh, my sticker and you'll have this cool uh, mug. Keep your drinks in, nice and cool. Um, we'll probably do this, uh, when do you wanna do it, Aaron? Sometime later this week or next week or? I would, <clears throat> I would do it next week. So you okay. can make a video. On your channel, a week talking from about it. A week from tonight. Yeah, that works. I should be all okay. Here. Everybody, a well, week from tonight, we will uh, well, we'll give away this uh, this tumbler here. So, uh, actually, what day is? <sighs> well, I might be working that Monday actually now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime next week. <laughs> Maybe Tuesday. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, somebody will have a nice uh, a little tumbler giveaway, a little memento from uh, my uh, visit down to Ocean Isle. Yeah. yeah looks good. So, uh, Aaron, we, uh, of course, you know, we went to uh, Cook's Forest yesterday. That was our honey hole last year. <laughs> it was good last year. It was real good last year. Unfortunately, this year, uh, we were a little unprepared. I went based on what we knew last year, and things were the conditions were not the same. Uh, the water was higher. Uh, it wasn't dirty. It was clear. It was higher. It was 74 degrees, which absolutely blew me away. And uh, But the current was impossible with a... Uh, wetsuit on and uh, it being extremely buoyant, even with the weights on, it just grabbed a hold of you and you had to hold on to a rock and it ripped you off and you went, you know, tumbling backwards. But uh, we didn't, we found like three cans, but that was about it. Tons and tons of people. They were just rafting and canoeing and, but uh, got to find a way to keep ourselves in place. 
the uh, the raft with the compressor. I use a hookah system, everybody. Um, uh, Brownie's third lung. Uh, I put a, I put a five pound weight uh, on it, tethered to a rope, and it it kept the uh, raft in place. But uh, we couldn't stay in place. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> really, really hard. But uh, we're we're going up again. Uh, snorkel pirate there's coming up. I don't know, two three weeks, hopefully somewhere in there, and. Uh, yeah, we're going to hit it again like we did last year. And we went, there's a six, uh, four and a two mile entry point, And we went in the six and we worked every inch of that six mile. Oh, that. Well, that's because we were in the drought. That sucked. Yeah, the water was lower last year. <clears throat> the downside of last year was that there was a lot of places that we had to. I mean, it was inches of water and we had to get through that to get to the deeper water but uh <coughs> yeah tidewater does have an anchor you can use <laughs> he does a little bit of uh yeah, it's like how tall do you think that is Ty? it's like a five six foot tall like old pirate anchor he found oh jeez <laughs> i don't even think that heavy <laughs> the uh the other good news, Aaron, when you do come up, I don't think we're going to need wetsuits at all. I mean, 74 I mean, degrees, that was, that blew my mind. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I mean, mine's only at 2.3, so. Yeah, I, uh, well, I had a, uh, I got the 7 mil and the 5 mil, and I took the 5 mil, but I uh, yeah. did not need it. Did not need it at all. And it, it worked against us, really, because it, you float and uh that and the current you just it was an impossible fight so got to get a grappling hook or we got to get a weight something to keep me in place <laughs> yeah see that's what i might get some like rash guards or something just so like i did <laughs> uh, i did use a little metal detector a little more there nice yeah. But uh yeah, last year was terrible guys. <laughs> like we had to pretty much walk like half that journey. Towards yeah, the water end, it does start getting deeper. But like, water that's usually uh somewhere between your waist and your knees in the in the low areas was inches. <laughs> of course that was uh that was the drought of the season last year, so yeah, that was but, uh there's no drought here. In fact, we had a terrible storm here today. Trees were down. Power was out for a while. Oh, it was really quite, quite nasty. Quite nasty. So, I told him I got to work on. I got to work on your thing. What's that? Because well, then I did this, but this is like. This is raised. Yes. So I have thought. Like if we're in there and I rub on something, it's going to scratch that paint off real quick. Yeah. So then I did one inlaid. Ah, very nice. Clean it up a little bit. So I'm trying to work on how to do yours because you have a bunch of elements that need to be in there and they got to interact well together. Yeah. That's very nice. And now I can... Uh, Get rid of the generic pirate patch. patch. <laughs> Didn't have to see the other third this evening, did you? Uh, no. Yeah, I thought maybe he'd have been on. Well, I, I take that back. I did see him in the very, 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 very beginning. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't get a hold of my. Uh, my phone, uh, the screen died today. Uh oh, so I got no phone. Her dad just had the same problem. The screen died. So uh, gotta wait till tomorrow and get my new phone. What one was that? That wasn't that old. This is the uh, this is the one that's broken. It's the uh, uh, 
10 max. Let's see, it's not that. It's not that old. Yep. Yeah. So we're going for the uh, 12 Max Pro. Nice. Yeah. I can't get it till somewhere around 10 or 11 tomorrow. Yep, 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 yep. But, uh, I don't know if you can, uh, if you wanted to, you could maybe text him and give him a heads up if you wanted to join in. Let's see what he's doing. <clears throat> and hello to everybody out there. Currently, I can't see any uh, chat communication. You can go to uh, on the right hand side somewhere at the top. It'll say private chat and it'll say comments. Ah, OK. Click got comment. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Anyway, like I said, hello, everybody. Uh, I don't know you as, uh, as well as Aaron does, but we'll get to know you. Yeah, we got cool people in here tonight. I and see the Squatch is in house. The Squatch is in house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, Underwater Canuck. She, that's what I was trying to tell you. I couldn't remember the name the other day. The rash guards. Anybody like in here live layer. close? To, anybody in here live close to Pittsburgh? Mm. What about say? <clears throat> She's pretty close. Huh. I'm not sure if mine's advancing or not. The last one I see is underwater uh, Canuck. There's magnetic squatch. It just came up. Yeah. There's a delay a little bit. on. It's a bit squatchy here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina. Well, we just came from there, Gary. Very nice state. Very nice. <laughs> well, we'll send them that. Oh, wrong one. <clears throat> he might a little bit. He said he's on the road. <laughs> he might prop his phone up. Oh, he, he might be working late. He might be working late. The other day, I think he worked something like 18 hours. Yep. <sighs> I'm glad those days are behind me. <clears throat> she said, well, three and a half driving her speed. Is that three and a half hours? <laughs> Where's she from? Uh, which she's near, uh, what'd she say? Winchester, Virginia? Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, is he here? Maybe. Is he going to join in from the road? Probably. <laughs> the little wheel's just a spinning. <laughs> Uh, probably where he is. He's probably on his cell phone. It's a weird connection. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little plug in while we're waiting. Waiting. Um, uh, Diggin just did a uh, a fishing uh, video with a neighbor of mine down the road. Uh, I'm going to try to get that uploaded this evening, waiting for it to uh, export now. 
but uh, and uh, the Cooks Forest uh, event that we just did uh, yesterday will be sometime this week. I haven't I haven't even looked at the uh, raw footage yet. It's uh, it's still here on the table <laughs> in the GoPro. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, that happens. <laughs> yeah, I just had a lot to get done today and not a lot of time to do it. Love your hat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out this. It's stringy sometimes on the printer, and I don't know. I've changed all kind of settings. Is that uh, come along easier for you? What is it? Is it coming along better? A little bit. When I get paid, I might try a different brand of filament. That could be an issue. I guess he's not going to join in. Like, I don't know how it almost flawlessly printed <coughs> Baby Yoda here. Oh, I got something funny for you. <laughs> if, if everybody's watched the latest video of ours from uh, last weekend, uh, his version and my version, we both uh, showed you his uh, imitation of Yoda. <laughs> when I was underwater, I found this slightly curved stick so i'm underwater <laughs> mimicking you <laughs> on camera uh, jody where does jody if jody must be still in here he'll, he will appreciate that <laughs> uh, i just saw it and i couldn't resist i thought of you right away <laughs> Uh, it was hilarious. Whew. We had a lot of fun on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just the comical lines and everything else. So I think when it's down there and it, that the water's not completely still. <laughs> It, you don't find a whole lot. Yeah, see, I told you. Jody loves it. <laughs> they like our imitations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is thank that? you, Willie. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, new promotion Monday. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. In all Yoda voice. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hard that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would be a good one.
Yeah, I'm gonna find out later. Josh said he had good news, but I don't know if that means that she's just not gonna. She's just gonna promote him and not have to do that. Oh, so when do you find out? I, I gotta call him later, or it's getting rid of a problem that we currently sort of have. Well, hopefully, it all gets sorted out. I uh, can't wait for you to get up here. Oh, yeah. Because all There's, I do is uh, work with her. He's already been a manager twice before. Like, I don't even know why he needs to do any of it. There's uh, there's two other places I found uh, on the way up there that uh, are strong possibilities. <laughs> I could. I've not made a TikTok video in a long time. Uh, I can say I've never made one at all. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, you really need somebody else to be like, we we need to try to uh, look for some metal in the river. And then I could be like, mm, mm, looking. <laughs> Found some I have, I'd say. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if we find a phone, we can pick it up and say, E.T. phone home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello in there. See me, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> meet up where? That is a good question. <clears throat> She has some good spots down where she is, like towards. What are you near? Like Harper's Ferry? Is that what you're close to? Or she's got some good. There's a good tubing spot down there. <clears throat> Wherever we're going. <laughs> Yeah, two or three weeks we're going to be in Cook's Forest, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. I really kind of would like to see, like, at the end there, and it has that bridge. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything under that bridge. Uh, there's a possibility we never, ever check that out. And there's a lot of people that swim right there, plus anything that might have been thrown over. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not gonna do my exact yeah. blade. Yeah, how do you get those magnets further out in the water? <laughs> a bigger arm. <laughs> Shoot it yes, out of a gun. <laughs> you go to the uh <clears throat> magnetic squatch school of magnet throwing. <laughs> where he tosses 10 pound magnets like they're nothing. I don't know, that one you got is a boat anchor. <laughs> it's heavy. I know. But, he, but he's used to going bowling and he uses like a 13 or a 14 pound ball. So 10 pounds ain't nothing to him. <laughs> no. Nope. Halfway to Erie. <laughs> yeah, it is halfway to Erie. Yeah. It's about uh, an hour and 50 from uh, where I live. And that's just north of Pittsburgh. Yeah, that first time, that drive was crazy. 
Uh, seemed, seemed worse to me because I had already spent four hours driving. Yeah, that's true. And you spent <laughs> two more. But it paid off. Oh, yeah. You found all kind of stuff. Uh, that I, couldn't, I couldn't believe. Was it 20, 21 pairs of sunglasses? Yeah. That's the actual I mean, ones. That's the ones we found. There were some we saw and we couldn't retrieve them because of the current. Yeah. Plus the ones that we know were there we never saw. Yeah, because I mean really if you had four people, that's probably good enough for the width of that. Even then yes. you might miss something. Yeah, even then you'd miss something, yes. I mean we had current last year and uh it wasn't real bad. It, it made things at times a little difficult, but that current. Well, you know, at six mile we launched, you could see there was places where it was low and there was a lot of white water. And I mean, it was really going down there. There was hardly any place that you could see white water uh, yeah. yesterday. I mean, it was just flowing. Let's see if I can find a picture of this. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> Still got this off. In case uh, some of you didn't know, whenever I was down in North Carolina, I was uh, battling pneumonia. So, because uh, I think that's where that bridge is right there. Yeah. Are you pulling the map up? Yeah. I forget the route that is. Wow. What did you do? Yeah. So uh, mm. we were somewhere. We were somewhere down here. Maybe even further. Because this is that bridge. Yeah, that's the bridge. And if you uh, if you widen out a little bit and go right, uh, we were. Um, we were right in. There. We were right in there. That's where we got out. That's we where were we were at this past weekend. Because where is it? Somewhere where right got, in here. Yeah, that's, that's where those that's, big rocks are, and it gets real deep. We couldn't get into that deep hole this weekend, only because. There were so many people that was rafting and swimming there. Oh, and yeah. I didn't want to, with the uh, air system we had on the raft, I didn't want to interfere with them. But it was yes, surprising it how many people were there yesterday. Look, this thing just goes and goes and goes. Oh, it there goes. Should there should be another bridge on up there uh, somewhere. Uh, bridge, 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 bridge. Yep. Yeah. Right here. Yep. It goes a long way. Look at that thing. Woohoo. That's the yeah, uh, the Clarion River. Yeah, there's all kind of stuff. Yeah. They have a six, a four, and a two mile launch. Um for the canoes and uh, rafters. Uh, we can go anywhere we want, but uh, we went in the six mile last year and it took us all day. And that was just snorkeling. I don't that know was the other, the bridge. that was the other thing that was our downfall last year is when we found something and we were down looking and looking and looking and we found something and we didn't have enough air to stay down and get it. And by the time up, you come up, got air, went back down, you couldn't find where it was. Uh, it's hard to tell because when that is in the more deep area when we went when we went last year I don't know how deep do you think that was like 10 feet it was 10 feet easily and that was I gotta remember that this was a, 
that part, was of the drought, drought. part of the year. So that water was low and that hole was uh, eight, 10 foot deep. And I'll bet right now it's, it's 15 easy. I couldn't find it uh, yesterday. I was looking, but I couldn't find it. But again, yeah. rafters, boaters, and that current, that current was, it was totally unreal. Yeah. We just need to, I don't know how Rob's schedule will work out, but <laughs> if we could do it not on a weekend. Um, well, he might have he has, uh, except for the last Wednesday and the last weekend of the month, he has uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesdays off. Because then there'd be less people. Well, weekend, there's always going to be more people out there, you know. May or may not. A lot of people were vacationing up there. They have cabins up there, and those cabins were all booked. Yeah. But right after the 4th of July. So yeah. Be going Ooh, home. Excuse me. <clears throat> it was a beehive of activity. Oh, I if bet. you remember that. If you remember that little ice cream stand that's right there where you get out, there was cars parked on the side of the road, lines to get in. We just kept on going, went and got to the next one. There was a decent amount of people last year, too, later in the day. Yeah. So nothing from your brother, huh? No. I figure he's driving. Probably lost cell phone service. Somebody wants to know if she missed the race or something. Yeah, Mary wants to know if she missed the races. Yeah, we did that. Uh, we did that a hot minute ago, <laughs> Mary. Oh no! Don't worry. Hey, Mary. Mary, that's okay because. Uh, Sometime next week, I will be auctioning off this tumbler. A very nice tumbler. So I'm going to get with Aaron sometime next week. It looks like maybe Tuesday. And uh, we'll have the races and uh, good luck. Good luck to everybody. Yeah. Plus, I don't know where it went because I'm not here to Where'd it go now? No. It needs a uh, tweaked because this is way too big for a keychain, but I can start making some keychain pieces to give away. Yeah, look at that. But this <laughs> is a bit a bit big. If you take dad's keychain, this thing's like oh. there's too bright a light on it, you can't see it. No, but I mean just the uh, Here's this a lot. This no, is, it's all it's all flared out. <laughs> that's what I got your. I'm just saying size comparison. Like this is much. This is huge. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, gonna scale it down a little bit. How deep do you think the bridge is? Which bridge are we talking about? That where you get out. Normal water heights. Uh, Mid late summer, it's probably what would you say, Aaron? Maybe a foot. Guessing we weren't actually there, but I'm going to say it was about a foot in low water. But some then that where that bridge is, that's where the deep water was up above it, upstream. And that, but we didn't that make was a good eight. Too tired. <laughs> that was a good eight, 10 foot uh, uh, in the dry part of the year. Well, like I said, we were snorkeling too. By the time you uh, get down there and start looking around, and if you find something, then you run out of air. Then to come back up and find that exact spot is not real easy. Well, that'd be a good spot to uh, take the metal detector into. Yes, it would.
This one works good. It's called the uh, scuba tector. Get a camera to see it. And uh, there's different modes, uh, both for uh, on shore and underwater and the sensitivity settings. The best part is um, it's a USB uh, charge internal battery. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to buy batteries and it, uh, it lasts a, a long time. And when you're not using it, you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn it off. It turns itself off. Uh, like just general. Well, it's in general. Like it just, it'll die. <laughs> it will just beep. I think he's talking about it. If how do you know if it's charged in the? Uh, I think he's charging it in the GoPro itself. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it will. I think it does turn off. But I have. If, uh, if you're just using this. like a lower voltage thing, it doesn't usually charge it to a hundred percent. I got this on eBay. It's a three uh, a three bay charger. And I love this thing. This thing charges the batteries up quick. You're ready to go. Because I have the two one. And these will turn orange. And when they're charged, they turn green. But if you have it in the camera, if you don't have, if you have it plugged into a, like if you don't have it plugged into like a phone charger or something, it might not get to 100%. Because before I bought this, when I got the new GoPro 9, <clears throat> I just plugged it into the GoPro, and it never got to 100. It would only get to like 97%. Yeah, I had the same problem until I got this new charger. I have the GoPro 8, and I went on eBay and got this, and I got, I got uh, three batteries and this, and it... Uh, It'll charge three batteries up real quick. All right, Jason. <laughs> I'm surprised you lasted this long, honestly. <laughs> Take care, brother man. Go get some rest. He's been working them crazy long days, too. Plus, he's outside in the heat. Gary, what GoPro do you have? I mean, you could just, you should be able to turn it on while it's plugged in and then you can go to the back and it should tell you how much batteries charged. This is Squatch leaving. Yeah, yeah, he's, he always works a lot and Good. Job, Good night, Squatch. <laughs> he's in the sun all day. Oh, on tractor? No, he does like uh, pest control and stuff now. So he's laying down granulates for bugs and stuff in people's yards. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, seven's not bad. Seven's not bad. Yeah, you should be able to just press that power button while it's plugged in and it'll tell you. Or you can just unplug it real quick and turn it on and it'll tell you how much battery is charged. 
but it may not go to 100% with the cable. It'll get to like 97 or something. It'll get good enough. I've noticed uh, up here now that the water's warming up that the battery lasts a whole lot longer than it did when we were mm -hmm. down there in that Elk River. Yeah, they don't like the cold too much. Ugh. Yeah, it didn't like that 54 degree water. Nope, nope. Neither did we. <laughs> It wasn't too bad if you were focused on doing something, but you just sit there and you're like, ooh, a little chilly. The worst part, the worst was getting in and oh. running down your back. Oh. 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 <laughs> <sighs> <clears throat> Yep, 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 yep. Stop that. Well, I still remember my certification dive in 1985. April of 1985. Oh, that was cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially in that big a volume of water. It's never going to be warm down below anyway. Oh, no. The deeper you go, the colder it gets. It's cool you get down there and you see a thermocline. That's what's really impressive. Sometimes a thermocline can be that thick or it can be real thick. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, a thermocline is a area where there's a difference in water temperature it's real warm here and real cold down here and in between there'll be a real cloudy uh, area um, particle suspended just hanging there yeah <clears throat> was that I don't know who it was. It was Jake or Jordan, or maybe it was just Tristan. Oh, they did went to that, and there was a big one in that quarry down at uh, Florida, Jenny Springs. No, I don't know where they were. I feel like it was Brandon. I'd like to get down to Jenny Springs. We would enjoy that. Oh yeah. Gary wants to know what the best thing you ever found is, or I guess both of us. Are... <laughs> what was that? Twenty-eight year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty-eight year old uh, stolen and ditched uh, newspaper vending machine. That is uh that's pretty good. Uh, years ago, I <clears throat> I found a stolen car. It was ditched. Uh, Slippery Rock, PA in a quarry. Uh, other than that, I can't, re I can't think of anything other than the, what you and I found down there in the elk that stands out. I, have st I still like my German bayonet, but you still have that. Um, oh yeah. It's downstairs, but the newspaper machine is pretty good. Yeah. It was a little too heavy and a little too little too beat up to bring home, though. <laughs> yeah. If we hadn't have brought that winch, we would never have got that out. It would have taken some doing with some come-alongs. That would have been... Gosh. Oh, samurai sword. Where was that at? Ah, congratulations, Gary. Wow. 
Nice. Hang on to that. I'm just waiting for that first phone or first watch we find. <laughs> yeah. Preferably that I can dry out and make work again. Yeah. I have. Okay, I can bring with me just in case. I have some silica beads. Where'd you able to find them? Or did you get them online? Online. I need them. I need to print a thing. You're supposed to keep the filament as dry as possible or you'll get problems out of that too. Is that the kind that you can put in the uh, oven and redry them? Yeah. Or the microwave. But I need to print a little box that that will fit in. And then there's a, you can go online and get some bearings and print a little thing that those fit into a certain container and then it will let that spool run freely and keep it dry in there yeah yeah well i appreciate the time we spent together this evening thank you very much i'm going to say good night to everybody and uh everybody take care and remember next possibly next tuesday stay tuned yeah, Aaron will be advertising uh, on his, and I'll be advertising on mine. So, Aaron, if you want to take a screenshot, I can get one. Uh, well, I can. Let's see. I get this thing. Alt F nine. Lost your audio. You still there, Aaron? Your your audio is gone. No sound, Aaron. When you took that screenshot or whatever, the, the audio went away. No audio. No audio. Can he, can anybody hear me? There you got it. What's happening? You got it now. Probably. Try that. Boy, that's bad audio, real bad. Try that. No, no good. What is happening? What is happening? I don't know. It happened whenever you took that screenshot. I got rid of it. Task manager. Let's 
close wavelength, reopen wavelength. Just change it to that. Oh, now it's echoing. Oh, no. You're crackly and like echoey. Ask. Try that. Nope. Okay. Now I can hear me. But can anybody else hear me? Your audio is very distorted. Is it better now? No. What is it doing? <laughs> At least I can hear you again. Uh, no, your audio is real bad. It doesn't even sound near as good as it did. What is happening? End task. Jody says no more screenshots for you. Now you're frozen in time. There you are. <laughs> Relaunch. What in the world? Oh. I don't know. What about that? No. <clears throat> you may have to start your stream all over again. Very weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll let you to figure it out. Say good night to you. Well, to everybody else out there, good night. Been a pleasure spending time with you tune in next week we'll give away that tumbler till then god bless take care keep on digging the water bye aaron <laughs>check tip okay what about now yeah i don't know firefox just completely crashed <laughs> anyway figured i was probably gonna call it now there's like a delay weird anyway it's probably gonna call it anyway because uh i want to eat the rest of my food and try to 3d print a couple more things that are gonna take a long time to do but i appreciate everybody coming to hang out today oh wait no now gary says they can't hear me okay Brockton says you can hear me. We're having another situation from the other night. Who was that, Brockton? Who was that? Was a uh... 
Clayton maybe was messing with you so they couldn't hear you. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Technology's getting weird over here. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hopefully, we'll get it all sorted out before the next one. And uh, I'm going to get Dad to make a video so you guys can go enter his giveaway for his uh, Tumblr thing there. See what in the world... Now, Squirrel doesn't have sound. What is happening? Hold on. Enter as me. Oh. Why can some people hear me and not? Okay, well, for those that can hear me, I don't know what's happening. We're uh, hopefully going to get that sorted out. But thanks for stopping by. I love all you guys. And, uh, yeah, I will I will message you, Tide. I'll message you everybody that won. And, uh, man, I'm going to have to get a hold of them. Uh, AZ will be easy to get a hold of. And uh, some of them I don't have addresses for. But I'll get addresses, and I will send them to you, Tide. But, that being said, guys, there's too much shenanigans happening up in my computer right now. I don't know what the hell's happening. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to we're just gonna end it for the night. I'm not trying to beat my six-hour record right now. So, yeah, I hope everybody's going to have a great evening. Great rest of the week. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you on the next one, guys. Find my thing here. Where's my thanks for watching? There it is. Yeah. Woo!